You're watching Vancouver TV, where we show you what's happening in your city. We've got the latest movie reviews and access to your favorite celebs. From fashion to red carpets, live shows, and more, we cover it all, keeping you informed about your city and in the know about upcoming events. vanished last night. We just found the body. Prince? And the head... <sighs> is missing. He calls himself the Snowman Killer. He's completely insane. Keep the front door open. I'm thinking that he's going after women that he disapproves of. The only thing we know for sure is that he's playing games with us. We need a way to lure him out. Be careful. We don't know what we're dealing with. He's been watching us the whole time. Building snowmen, cutting things up into little pieces. He's taunting us. If we don't find him, this is never going to stop. Another missing woman. There's something we're not seeing. What matters most is that we celebrate the way this has brought us together. Anyone can see that he's trying to hide something. You can't force the pieces to fit. You could have saved them. No. Gave you all the clues. To win tickets to see this movie and other fun movie price packs, visit www.vancouvertelevision.ca. Hi, I'm Ashley Davidson with Vancouver Television. Tonight we are here at the Vancouver International Film Festival Red Carpet 2017. Let's go see Vancouver's top talent on the red carpet. Well, darling. I love your bow tie. Thank you very much. Want to know about the suit? Yes. It's a, it's a Sigliano from Italy. It's a $2,000 suit. I love it. I picked it up at Value Village for $29.99. Wow. So you got to go out there and find your sales. There you go. Get a good, I've got a great tailor, and that's where the suit came from. Honestly, it's all about the deals. Yeah. No, for real, though. And if you're like that handsome, then you can pull anything oh off. Oh my God, you're so kind. Thank you. No, but really though, you know. And I, I also got a haircut today. No way. Probably the hair cut off my ears too. You know, when you get this age, yeah, it, it comes out from everywhere else. You know, instead of where it's supposed to be. You know. So what are you working on right now? Ah, oh, well, I just fit. I, I'm working on Arrow. Yeah. Uh, I'm a recurring character. I'm. Uh, the Leeds nemesis at City Hall. I play uh, Councilman Cullens. I just finished uh, a lead on uh, Miss Christmas for Hallmark with a wonderful actor named Mark Bluco, Blucas. Uh, from, uh, he was uh, Riley on uh, Buffy the Bank. Pirate. Vampire Slayer? Riley, everybody will remember Riley. And a Mel Gibson film called, a little small Mel Gibson film called uh, we're, we're soldiers, we're the soldiers, yeah. And then, um, and I'm uh, working on uh, writing a few things right now. Uh, I'm going back to uh, Arrow. Other than that, I'm... Uh, You're busy. I'm, I'm very fortunate. I took a hiatus for about uh, seven or eight years and I came back with Lucas Talent, with Leila Carrera, 
a wonderful, wonderful agent that just has uh, blasted me out of the water. That's awesome. So what did you learn in that little hiatus? Missed it? Oh, did yeah. the bug hit? They say once you've been bit by the bug. Yeah, well, I've been at it for 40, 50 years. I was the associate director of the Citadel Theater, Young People's Theater, uh, produced radio drama for five years. Uh, I've had a wonderful go, and it's just wonderful to be back at this age. Yeah. Well, it's like never too late, you know? No. no. And, and, and it's rejuvenating. Yeah. And I'm also back teaching, which is fun. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Well, so nice to meet you. My pleasure meeting yeah, you. Yeah, congratulations on all your success. Thank you, That's darling. Awesome. Nice meeting you. Have a good night. <laughs> How's your night going? It's been good. Yeah. What about you? Yeah, it's pretty good. There's so many actors. I know. It's, it's like, madness in here. Yeah, no, it's great, though. <laughs> it's like so much energy and personality. And it's like a family reunion. Yeah, yeah I know. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Because in the film industry, it's so weird. Like, you get so close with people being on set, and then it's all of a sudden you just have to say goodbye to them. I know. And then you come to things like this, and you get to be like, ah, ah, yeah, ah. Yeah. Who do I talk to? Yeah, yeah. it's fun. No, it's great. Yeah. So how long have you been acting for? Oh, my goodness. Over 10 years? <laughs> long time. But you're not old enough. <laughs> you start really young? Yeah. Um, no, I started when I was like 15, 16. I'm yeah. aging myself now, yeah. but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what are you working? You're, what did you say you were working on? Did you? I just me? finished up on Ghost Wars. Okay, right, it's right. gonna be airing on Thursday on yeah. Sci-Fi Channel, so I'm really excited to see it. It's weird because on set, you don't get to see anything really. So all I've seen is the trailer, and it, I'm really excited to see the so show. What is your character? My name is Maggie, and that's pretty much right. all I can tell you. <laughs> episode I can say a little bit more but there's a few things revealed in the first episode that I don't want to ruin cool. <laughs> and do you find that you relate to Maggie yourself? I do yeah. I do yeah there's some things going on in the show with Maggie's dad and I lost my dad this year so that was really it was hard but it was an interesting thing for me to work through yeah yeah I feel like that happens though like, yeah meant for you. I mean, I don't know yeah. what happens in the show, yeah. but, you know. Yeah. Aww. Looking sharp. Thank you. You're, I mean, I haven't said that to anyone else tonight. <laughs> I appreciate it. It means a lot coming for me. You look gorgeous. Thank you. Um, so what brings you to VIF? Well, um, the free drinks, really. <laughs> that's it. Let's just be that's real. It. And you. Yeah, 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 that's it. That's it. <laughs> Uh, Not anything else. No, there's so many great films. I saw a wonderful Mina Shung film last night, Meditation Park. She did a great job. Uh, there's many films I want to see. Entanglement, tonight's film, looks great. And uh, uh, Indian Horse. There's so many films that are wonderful at VIF. And are you working on any of them, or are you just supporting? Uh, I am uh, enjoying them, and I guess supporting them as a result of my enjoyment. But I'm just finishing a film right yeah, now. Yeah, tell me about it. I'm just trying to wrap up a movie after two years of shooting. Oh, my God. We shot 120 hours of footage over something like 50 days uh, over the span of two years for a film called Cool Daddy. Oh, right. Yeah. Cool Daddy. Yeah. Should I give the tiny pitch again? Yes. Okay. So legendary but forgotten Canadian jazz singer Kenny Coleman who Frank Sinatra was a big fan of and hung out with Kenny and he brought Kenny into the Rat Pack in Vegas and lived that life. Sarah Vaughn discovered Kenny. He's 84, but his son is 44. And his son is a successful real estate agent in Scottsdale, decides to quit real estate two years ago, moves up to Vancouver to learn everything he can from his dad about singing. And his dad has been doing that but also trying to stop him. Right, okay, I remember this. I've interviewed him before somewhere else. The classic parental, yeah, like, don't no. join the circus like I did. No. Or even, you know. Something that's a real job. A real job. Like, I, go, you shouldn't even be watching this. Yeah. Go become an accountant. Yeah, right? Yeah, now. But it's like you need to follow your heart. Sometimes. <laughs> I think it's working out for you. But oh, it doesn't yeah? work out for everybody. No. Well, you know. But 
maybe I'm just I'm just cynical. I'm yeah. cynical. I don't know. I'm so excited to see it. Cool, Daddy. Where can people find it? Well, people can watch the trailer right now on Facebook. Okay. And we hope to be at festivals in 2018, early 2018, and theaters later on. And then on television in the fall of 2018. That's the theory. Well, so good to see channel and uh, Canadian Media Fund paid for it, and God love them for that. And Creative BC. Thank you. So good to see you. Yeah, you too. We'll see you again. working on right now? Um, I'm working on, well I just finished a movie called uh, The Wedding March as well as Chesapeake Shores. Um, it's on Once Upon a Time this year and yeah we'll see what's next. Look at you. <laughs> Look at you. Thanks. So many things. <laughs> what's your favorite or do you like them all? Oh my goodness. I, it's so, I'm not somebody that has favorites of anything. I love, like, like, I love everything. Yeah, no, I've, I mean, I've had some that I've liked more than others. I mean, Once Upon a, Once Upon a Time was so cool. I got to be um, play the younger version of Gabrielle Rosa's character. So that was just, like, such an honor to be playing, like, the younger version of her character. Um, super cool, and everybody on that show was amazing. Um, the Wedding March was also super cool. I, did, I was getting married on it. <laughs> and I just got married just a couple weeks ago as well. So I was, like, I filmed that getting married and then I actually went and got married so oh wow so it's like parallel yeah. yeah yeah I mean I was a bit of a bridezilla in that so hopefully in real life I was a lot more cool <laughs> you could bring out all the things you wanted to yeah yeah that. exactly I got all the stress out in that yeah, yeah. So, perfect yeah. I'm sure your husband's happy yes <laughs> that's awesome well nice to meet you, you I hope you have fun tonight thank, thank you. you yeah is that good is that good or I good. think this is my better side. Okay, then let's do it this there way. There we go. Right? How are okay. you, Mackenzie? I'm good. How are you? Good. You look wonderful and oh, lovely. Thank I love that. you. I love you. I love your um, piece here. It's fantastic. Thank you. Very unique, hey? Yeah. It's well, unusual. I like your, your blazer. Well, thank you. And your, you were telling me, or the other guy, that you have nice socks on right now? Yes, I was. Um, well, the thing is that she always asks what socks you're wearing. Oh. So I think uh, these argyle socks. Oh, that are, wow. Because I'm a diabetic, so I have to wear special socks. And they're usually very boring, just black or gray. Yeah. So somebody found me colored argyle socks. Did so. they give it to you as a present? Yes. Yeah. Beautiful. So it was a, a diabetic present. So, you know, Aww. very nice. Well, you look very lovely. Well, thank you. And how's your night going so far? Uh, so far, it's good because it's just starting. And I we know. just got off to an early start, which I really like to get, do this and get it out of the way. And then you can just relax and go and, and enjoy. Because you're so stressed out doing this, right? <laughs> no, in fact, I love doing this. I get to talk and tell stories or, you know, talk to beautiful people like you. And that's, it's a, it makes the day way better. Charming. I, I mean it. So uh, what are you working on right now? Your favorite project at the moment? Uh, I've just started on a new, uh, for me, a new series of uh, Supergirl and The Flash. and I'm very excited about that. And I'm on Riverdale, which is always fun. To, it's, a, you know, it's, it's a good show. And, um, I, I, you know, so those are the two that are keeping me occupied right now. And, um, you know, Do you have a, a favorite hours. role? A fav of, of all the roles I've yeah. played? Well, recently I really loved, I, I was one of the leads on Legion, and playing the Eye, or the character of the Eye, was really, I loved playing him, and I loved being him, and I loved where it goes, and uh, so that's, that's a very special one to me. You know? Well, I'll have to look so, out for it. Yeah, yeah, it's a good show. It's a very unusual show, there's nothing like it on TV. It's, it's a called very, The Legion? Legion. It's a Marvel series based, it's a spin-off of the X-Men, but there's no superheroes, or anything is told from inside the mind of a schizophrenic who may or may not be a mutant and it's it changes and it moves around and and there's you think you're watching something and it's not real and then it's his perception and it's uh, it's created by Noah Hawley who created Fargo and uh, and so it's very intelligent super complicated and really brilliantly shot so I'm very proud of it you should be proud I see you everywhere, Mackenzie. <laughs> I'm like, oh, there he is. Yes, there he is, on the bus. Yeah, I know, on the street. On the yes, exactly. Everywhere. 
Exactly. And how are you doing? I'm great. Yeah, yeah. I'm so excited to be here. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. And it's nice to see like familiar faces, too. Yes. And uh, yeah. I see a lot of them will be coming through, yeah. so it'll be a good night. Great. Well, Come so in. nice chatting with you. Thank I you hope too. you have such a fun time tonight. I'm looking forward to it. It's awesome. going to be great. Thank Thanks, you, Thanks, Mackenzie. Thank you. Awesome. How's your night so far? Really good. Really good. How's yours? Good. Good. So your name's Chris? My name is Chris. Yeah, Chris or Osmond. And what are you working on at the moment? Well, I just wrapped up on a show called Damnation, which is the USA channel. It's going to air November 7th. Um, so, yeah, it's a, a look at the Depression era in Iowa, 1931. And I think um, that you'll find that it's pretty current and relevant to the world that we're living in right now. And when does this come out? November 7th. Uh, it airs. It'll be on USA, which is a cable network in the States, but it will also stream on Netflix. Is it amazing? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I have for sure. It's, you know, it's, there's such um, great work, great films, great artists, uh, a lot of them local. So I think it's important to, uh, to come and support and represent. And can you tell us a bit about the character that you play in the film you were just talking about? Damnation? Yeah. yeah, I play uh, a corn farmer named Wendell Davidson. Uh, Davidson? He, yeah. That's my last yeah, name. There you go. Perfect. Yeah, Maybe yeah. we're related. Yeah. Um, yeah, he's, you know, he, he's uh, a man of, of integrity and principle and honor and uh, everything that I aspire to be in life. So it's really nice to sort of play one of those characters because a lot of the times I... I play a villain and, and a horrible, horrible human being, so uh, it was great. It's, you know what, the writing from Tony Toast, executive producer Adam Kane, these guys are dialed in. They're, uh, it's it's going to be a, a great series. I uh, hope it has lots of legs and, um, yeah, as an artist, to work on something when you read a script and, and it floors you, uh, it doesn't happen often and it, it was... I'm just glad they, they picked it. Did you feel like when you were when you got the script, did you know that it was something you connected to, or were you was it one of those things that was like, whoa, I wasn't expecting that? I, I do, you know, I, I knew I connected to it. I, um, I, I, I play those characters well. I feel I do. Um, I found like when I was working on my character, I'd listen to Johnny Cash. Uh, I felt the writing was a lot like Johnny Cash lyrics. And unbeknownst to me until after, uh, Tony, who uh, wrote it and is the executive producer, showrunner on it, wrote a book on Johnny Cash. So he said a lot of that he drew on in this is from his uh, research on Johnny Cash. So, you know, the two things just kind of connected serendipitously. And uh, yeah, it was a thrill. It's, it's, it's nice when it all works out. Yeah, well, I really look forward to watching it. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I hope you have a good time tonight. Thank you. Thank you. What's your name? My name is Jason Cermak. And what are you working on at the moment? I am working on uh, the third installment of the Fixer Upper series for Hallmark, starring Jewel and Colin Ferguson. Wow. And what is your character all about? I play Tommy Sloan. So Jewel's, I like to always add this in, I was Jewel's boyfriend in high school. Not anymore. Like, this is for real? Well, uh, no. Oh. It would be nice, but no, my character was her boyfriend in high school, and uh, now I'm a cop, so she, it's kind of like a Murder, She Wrote idea that Jessica Fletcher, she's a civilian, so she has these ideas for these crimes and who committed them, and she needs a link to the police, and that's me. She's like, ex-boyfriend Tommy, my good friend, uh, I think this is the guy that killed this person because of this reason, you gotta tell the chief. So that's my function in the show. Cool, and have you been to VIF before? I have. A number of times, yeah. Every year? Every year. I don't know if I saw you last year. No, yeah, no. I'm, I, this party in particular, it's yeah. probably the best party of, of the whole festival. It is. Yeah, what, yeah. What, what would you say is the highlight of uh, the festival for you? Is it this party um, or? Yeah, and just getting to meet all the actors and everything. Like, there's so much talent in Vancouver. Well, there is, and uh, production's been unreal. I think Hallmark had 94 productions alone this year. Uh, Netflix, uh, I think more than a dozen. <laughs> And uh, including Altered Carbon, which is one of the highest budgeted films uh, in television history. Are uh, you are you from Vancouver? Uh, originally from Calgary. I'm an Alberta boy. Okay. So you are Canadian? Yes. <laughs> That's awesome. And I want to be proud of my Canadian heritage. Yeah. And uh, even if you work in the States, you can never really lose that. Yeah. Would you ever, do you work in the States or? Uh, off and on, yeah. yeah. But, uh, but you love Canada, right? I love Canada, and this is where I want to stay. There you go. Well, so nice to meet you. I hope you have a great night. Thanks, Thank you. You too. How's your uh, night going so far? Uh, pretty good. I've made it through one, two, three, four places, and yeah. 
No one's kicked me out of here yet. And, uh, you might be the first. I might. Yeah. And what are you working on right now? Joyous Christmas. <laughs> really? Yeah, what are you playing? I can't tell you. No. No, he'll give it away. Oh, okay. I'm a guy. And you're a writer too, right? Uh, kind of, yeah. I write and I try and to direct. produce and direct. And teach. And I've directed and I've taught, yeah. Yeah, you do it all. Doing it all. I'm working on a deal right now. What's your name? My name's Gabe Kuth. And what are you working on at the moment? Uh, well, I was working on Once Upon a Time for uh, six seasons. They're in their uh, seventh. Uh, no spoilers. Um, can't tell you whether I'm on it or not. But yeah, uh, You can't say. We'll see. Uh, if I am on it, I'll be the uh, tall drink of water. Uh, it looks like this. There you go. <laughs> and um, is that your primary show that you're working on at the moment? Uh, well, I'm, I'm sort of, you know, guesting on uh, all the other... Not all of them, but a few of the other shows. Not sure I can actually talk about them, yeah, but probably uh, not. Some of the things I got, I'm also a voice actor. Uh, I'm on uh, Fruit Ninja. Uh, I play a teenager. This very, uh, you know, middle-aged guy playing a teenager. Oh, I love that voice. Loves pizza. Come on, let's go. <laughs> um, and um, Beyblade, which a lot of kids like. Beyblade, if uh, if you're older, it's basically a dreidel. You know, you pull it, it spins. So I'm playing about four characters on that one. So it gets a little. Wow. Gets a little kooky because I'm, I'm a dog, Roof, oh my and then I'm another dog who's a little bit uh, not as friendly. That's and amazing. I'm, and then I'm also a teenager on that too. So, and so again, middle-aged guy that needs a shave playing a teenager. It's good work if you can get it, kids, but stay in school. There you go. Yeah. Thank you. You're the best. Thank you very much. You don't even have to go to school for that. Uh, no, but but you should. Natural born talent right there. <laughs> stay in school, kids. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I always tell my kids, be a dentist. People yeah. always need teeth, so. Right? <laughs> yeah. And they need people like you, too. That, that's right, you know. I'm looking for you. Yay. Well, I hope you have fun tonight. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Have fun. I, Laura? I'm Laura, yes. And uh, I, God, it's been a busy year. I was one of the series leads in Louder Milk which is for the Audience Network. Uh, Peter Fairley from the Fairley Brothers directed it. It should be really great and really fun, starring Ron Livingston. And premieres on the 17th of October. And next week I go to LA for the premiere there, so it should be really good. How excited are you? Can you tell my voice yeah, is you're like, I'm so excited. Do you love LA? It's been a process, I think. At the beginning, I didn't, but I do now. I think it's super fun. You just find your little hoods, your little neighborhoods, and it's a pretty fun place. The weather is good, though. Well, you wake up every day to sun and birds compared to the rain in Vancouver. So, yeah, it's pretty good. And are you having fun tonight? Yeah, I, I am. Are you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's fun. I mean, there's so many actors here. It's great. It's, it's a good people watching night, I think, yeah, yeah. for sure. It's getting busier and busier by the second. Yeah, and it's just a really nice, fun way to celebrate, you know, Vancouver yeah. in a way in our film industry and share it with the world. So it's great. So I didn't ask you, what kind of character do you play? I play Allison, who is pretty much literally the girl next door to Ron Livingston's Loudermilk character, who's a bit of an a-hole. He might have a little bit of a crush on me, but he always sticks his foot in his mouth, or should, because he always says the wrong thing. But. Uh, yeah, it's pretty fun. Do you it's feel a, like you relate to the character, or? Um, yeah, in some ways, there's a little bit of her in me. Um, yeah, in some ways. I mean, we're different, but there are similarities. We'll put it that way. doesn't actually find the similarities. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes you can relate. You can relate. Yeah. Yeah. She's a human being. <laughs> well, I guess. Character. Yes. Yeah, no, no, she's great. She's she's sweet and fun and has really bad taste in music. So I like to hope maybe my taste in music is a little bit better than her. I love your neck. Hi, what's your name? I'm Nelson Wolf. You know me? Uh, yes, I, yeah, totally. Who doesn't? Who doesn't know Ashley? You know me? <laughs> You're famous. Yeah, yes, know, Nelson right? Yeah. Uh, how's your night so far? It's great. Uh, this is. Um, I've been attending the VIF since 2004, uh, and, and you know, watching all the wonderful movies since then. And and I got to open the festival this year with uh, Meditation Park, directed by Mina Shum. So it was really exciting. To be Can part you tell of us what it's about? Uh, yeah, it's um, a f sort of a slice of life drama of a family living in East Vancouver, uh, dealing with uh, 
infidelity and the sort of unraveling of a family that occurs then. It's a, a dramatic in moments and with lots of light moments, and I'm really proud to be part of that. So the screening for the films just happened. Yeah. And so if anyone missed it, is there a place they can go and watch it now? Oh, absolutely. Uh, check the program guide at the Vancouver International Film Festival. It also screened at TIFF. Uh, so I, I definitely think it's going to uh, go far. It's I really a, want to watch it. Oh, thanks, thanks. Yeah, it's really good. So, what do you play? Uh, in the uh, in the film, the the matriarch of the family gets disillusioned, and and she tries to start her own life as a senior citizen. And I'm uh, one of the business owners she approaches to get a job. There you go. Yeah, to get her independence. And um, it turns out I'm someone from uh, her her past, and there's a, some memories there. So it's, I've got a Christmas movie coming out. Oh my God. Yeah, uh, Hallmark Hall of Fame. So it's uh, one of the big ones, directed by uh, my good pal Ron Oliver, and uh, starring Joan Cusack, Danny Glover, and Dermot Mulroney. They're fantastic leading cast. They were definitely the head of the acting department. It was wow. One. Yeah. And what is it about? Um, it's uh, based on a novel by David Baldacci called The Christmas Train, and it's a, a romance that happens aboard a train. It's a, it's a wonderful nod to train movies, train cinema, and, and, and uh, that kind of travel. It's very romantic. I'm excited to watch it, and when does it come out? It comes out on American Thanksgiving weekend. So I'm trying to do the, the metric and empirical math, American US. I don't know either. <laughs> I think it's like November sometime, but okay. yeah, I'm excited. For it. Yeah, on the Hallmark Channel. Hallmark. Hallmark. Yay. Yeah, they're busy. How's your night going? It's going fabulous. You look wonderful. Oh my God, thank you. Yeah, so yeah, do you know. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Everyone's looking fly. Hey, it's the name of the game tonight. <laughs> Pound fly. Red carpet. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. So um, are you working on anything spectacular? I'd say so. I'm working on Ridley Scott's The Man in the High Castle right now. Nice. Um, very exciting show. Very important show. Um, I just started on it. Uh, got welcomed with open arms. I'm the newest character on the show. I'm playing uh, George Mingus Jones, uh, the leader of the Black Chinese Resistance. Thanks for watching Vancouver Television. Again, I am Ashley Davidson. Until next time.